In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the foundation layout where we have the foundation plan at 3 16 inch viewport, and then we have the foundation details at 3 8 inch equals a foot. Right now, it's just set up with one big viewport, so you would have to actually come in here and scale these guys up bigger um, in model space to get them to appear uh, big enough to read or make it out. The first thing that I want to do, I'm going to come over here to model space. I actually made a copy of this off to the side so I wouldn't mess with my original. <clears throat> but I've got uh, my foundation details drawn here. Um, my dimension style, when I come in here, I've got one called Arc 64. That's what you guys have made. You've made one called Arc 64. The text height we're actually going to change that text height to 1 16th inch. That uh, was at a different uh, text height before, but we're going to change that to 1 16th inch. Just press enter there. And then under fit, where we're used to seeing it, it's 64. That's a drawing scale factor of 64. Your book talks about the drawing scale factor. I have a little cheat sheet here about that. And if you look, I've got my drawing scale factor. We want our text to appear at 1 16th inch. If I'm going to plot it at 3 16 inch equals a foot, really my text should be 4 inches tall. The drawing scale factor, DSF, the drawing scale factor for 3 16 inch equals a foot is 64. That's where we're getting that number. There are 64 3 16 inches in one foot. So if we were to take 1 16 inch, which is how tall we want our, our text to plot, and if we were to take that uh, multiply it by 64, it would be 4 inches. And so that's the text height that we would normally make things in AutoCAD if we wanted them to appear 1 16th inch when we actually plotted it at 3 16th inch viewport scale. So, but we kind of worked our way around having to do this math. We just knew 3 16th inch, drawing scale factor of 64, anything that is 1 16th inch automatically is going to be adjusted by AutoCAD. Well, we're now adding in a new one. We've got 3 8 inch equals a foot. So the drawing scale factor for 3 8 inch equals a foot is 32. So there are 32 3 8 inches in one foot. So we'll come back over here. What I'm going to do is cancel out of this. I'm going to say new. I'm going to create a new one and call it arc 32. <laughs> And, to, and I'm going to start with Arc 64. Everything about this is going to be exactly the same. I'm going to continue. The only change I'm going to make, text is still the text type that we set it before. Well, I didn't save it, so let's make it 1 16th. Uh, but under fit, we're going to make that 32 instead of 64. So I will say OK. I'm going to go ahead and make that change on my 64 as well. I did not, I got out of it without saving. Say okay to that. All right, so I'm gonna close, come back to my drawing. Now I'm gonna select all of these dimensions that I already had put in here. And I'm gonna make those all arc 32 instead of arc 64. So we can adjust this and see if we can get it to fit inside of here now. A lot of these dimensions might fit in here. Mm, I don't know about this one. This might be too big to fit. Yeah, it's too big. We'll keep it out here. This one is definitely too big to fit. So we'll just kind of move it in a little bit. It's fine. Oops, I forgot to change that one. So arc 32, looking good. Will that one fit? Nope, just a little bit too big. All right, so this looks good. I have got everything all set up the way that I need it. When I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and adjust these to kind of come in a little bit closer. When I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and squish these two views together, and I'm going to squish this note along with it. That note, I'm going to go to Properties, and let's see, Text. I'm going to go ahead and make that text height as it varies, mm, let's just adjust this hex text type here. So it says it's six inches. I'm actually going to make that, remember, we're going to make that two inches. What was six? We're going to. Make 
make it two inches now. But well, we can mess with this later. You guys will have this already done. And then I'll make this, maybe it's eight inches. Let's make it four inches. That's good. I'm gonna do the move command. I'm gonna move this one up a little closer and then I'm gonna move them all a lot closer. Alright, so everything's kind of squished up together. Now we're going to come over here to the foundation plan. I've got one viewport, and that one viewport is showing everything. So I'm going to delete that viewport. That's the one that came with it. And I'm going to come over here. There's a couple of ways that we can do this. We can either say view, viewports. I'm going to go for two viewports, and I'm going to make them uh, vertical, side by side. Or another way that I can do it is, let's escape out of there, I can go to my layout tab. You only have that layout ribbon whenever you're in a layout. But I will come over here and you see that there's an option here for layout viewports. I'm going to click on that tiny little arrow in the corner and I'm going to go for two vertical. Say OK. Draw this. And I'm going to highlight both the viewports. These are really just rectangles with special properties. I'll go ahead and bring it in here. I'm going to bring this one in a little bit smaller so that I have more space for that foundation plan. So first off, I'll come to my foundation plan. And I'm going to go ahead and set that one to, what was that, 3 sixteenths inch? 3 sixteenths inch equals a foot. Looks good. Come back into paper space. Now I know how big I can make these viewports. My O snaps are getting me here. Now I'm going to come over to this. I'm going to zoom into those details just so I can see what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to make those. So that was 3 16 inch. Now I'm going to go 3 8 inch. They're going to zoom in to the right viewport scale. Go ahead and lock that viewport when you're done. Lock this viewport when you're done. One thing I did not do is check what layer I made that viewport on. So let's go look at our layers. Definitely don't want it on the depth points layer. You want to make sure that it's on the viewports layer. That way it won't plot whenever it's time to plot. You won't see the lines of the viewport, but the viewport will still have the information and the drawing inside of it. So that's how we're going to get two different viewports, one at 3 16 and one of them at 3 8 inch for those details, just so they're big enough and they show correctly. But again, in order to do that, oops, I missed this one too. Um, in order to do that, we have got to set up our dimension style to say uh, the right size. And remember, we're just making a copy of ARC64 and we're just changing that drawing scale factor um, to 32. When we go to modify under the fit tab, we're going to completely copy it. And then we're just going to change the overall scale of 32 instead of 64 and put these dimensions on that. Okay, that should hopefully help get you through. Um, I know this is an extra credit project, but get you through how you're going to do that extra viewport uh, or those details in a different viewport scale.